so friends welcome in this video in this video we will see how we can control the temperature inside the tank with the help of the PIT controller so from this block diagrams uh, I'm trying to explain you how the process is going on so here actually what uh, from the fixed flow rate from this storage tanks we are supplying this uh, food so here actually uh, through this uh, heating elements the fluid is passing through inside this tank here actually. and here actually what we have to uh, maintain the temperature inside the tank here. so that means what uh, we'll see this uh, heating coils is inserted inside this uh, tank so this is nothing but uh, we can see uh, this is a uh, geyser type of system so from here actually uh, we'll just uh, sense the what is the temperature inside the tank so here actually <coughs> you'll see uh, this is the temperature transmission line so from this temperature transmission line so the reading will uh, read out by this controller and then controller will give you the instructions to the final control element and here actually the final control element is nothing but this is your heat duty or heating coil so here actually according to the uh, control signals this uh, heat load will change so according to this heat loads uh, we can able to maintain the temperature uh, inside this uh, tank here actually. so now uh, we will uh, draw the block diagram in this lab view and see the temperature is uh, able to control inside this tank or not so for that uh, we are going to this uh, block diagram so in block diagrams again we are taking a PID controller from control and simulation again the same now I'll just uh, take from here the output range so I'll take this constant this is control for auto mode and uh, this is for manual mode again we are taking this control from here now uh, this is a set points we have to give the set point so again we'll take this uh, controller now next is a set point range leave it PID gain again uh, this is a controller now from here the output will sent into the plant so again from here we'll just select the plant so set so just focus on my path from where I am taking the path plant actually. So this is the, the folder where I am installing. this example control PID so again I'll take the plant and from here okay so now I have this plant again I connect the output from this plant input then this is your the plant output now we have to take that constant so this is it depends on you suppose you want uh, 200 degree centigrade or 180 degree centigrade to zero because we are supplying the water this is, this is. now from here again I'm taking this time this is Constant. Now I'm multiplying. Yes. From here I'll take this zero, and then I'll supply this with this. 
time t and same dt with the key. Now the output of this plant is connected with the process variable here itself. And just a little bit rearrange. Okay. Okay, so now from here again uh, we have to see the response of all. So again I'll just take this bundle and uh, from here I'll take the set point. This set point is nothing but your this uh, required temperature. What the temperature we want inside the tank. Then uh, we have the process output. So the process output the current value is at the temp tank and uh, this is your manipulated value so i'll just keep it here okay so same uh, we can write down this is your uh, set point this is your manipulated variable value is this one and uh, this one is your process output your process value you can see so this is your process value okay. <coughs> now this is a graph so i'll just connect from here then you can see this response now uh, for the continuous run we are blocked inside the for loop so now this is a condition to close and again to uh, run we have to take a move initial loop out so this is the zero then it will start and it will continue from here and uh, now here we want to see so for that we are taking just wait uh, from here just for the indication I'm just taking this temperature uh, the temperature is here actually so this is nothing but this will since the temperature and uh, then it will send into the PAT controller. So now here I will connect this temperature like that. Okay, and now I'll just see this little bit so we can. clearly okay and uh, this is your static gain so we have to keep it the static gain here itself I'm taking this PID controller values from there this is your static gain manipulated variables and uh, there is a no need to change the position here now I take the set point from here what the set point we want so i'll just keep it set point here so i'll just little bit resize it set point then it should be bold the value inside the tank again we take four and we take Gold and that color is to be red. Okay. So, so I'll just keep it inside the stand.
Okay, now let us check uh, is it working or not. Uh, for that, uh, I'll just keep it this temperature inside the tank is 30 degrees centigrade. Let us see what is going on. Okay, so now the value is coming 30 or not. We are not able to see here. So what I am doing here, uh, I just take this as a set point and what is the temperature? So for that, I'll just take uh, one distant value and that distant value I want to keep here actually. Okay, now I'll see we are giving 30. So what the value is coming from here, uh, we keep it. And then skip it. Uh, okay. So now we we'll see this uh, again. So from here, the set points suppose we are given 50. Mm -hmm. We are actually okay. Then. Now you can see the response here how you have all the three values. Is very and uh, then we have to change the response. Uh, this is your the set point, and this is your. Uh, we have to see from here the thermal is man uh, process variable. So you put it. This is your process variable, and this is your man plate. Okay, now. Let's see. The set point is your 50, so you will see uh, this is your 50, and uh, this process value is a red color, so you will see this is red line and manipulated value. Well. So now here we will see the response of all the three values here set points, manipulated variables, and the process And uh, it is good. Now it's time to control. So now you will see set point is 50. Manipulated. Uh, okay, here actually, right now we are not able to see the manipulated variables value. So for that, we'll go back again, and uh, from here we'll see what the values is coming. So for that, we have taken one indicator here. So this output is nothing but this is your MV. So from here yeah, we we'll see where is MV is coming. This MV is nothing but this uh, this heat load. Now you see. So this heat load is the same as what is manipulated by this building. So, like this, and here actually, what uh, we will see this response is a little bit slow. Uh, so, for that, uh, we can do one more thing we can reduce the time instead of possible. Let's put this 100. Now, we'll see what is looking for fast. You see here. No, it's control. Same this way, suppose now again I'll change the set point. This is a 70, so again it will shoot up and it's again it's set to control. This way. Like that. Okay, now you'll see the exactly it's matching. So now you can see your program is run properly. Here actually, uh, if uh, you want to uh, compress your block diagram, then we have one option. So you will just select all this one and go pressure. So now you can see, you just, uh, we can do a space optimization here, like that. So that is uh, in this video.
thank you if you like it this video then please like share and subscribe thank you